Are you interested in creating artwork with spray paint? Well, this video is for you. I kind of had to teach myself, so to help you skip all of that trial and error, I'm gonna teach you what I've learned along the way. So this is actually part two of a two series video. Um, the first video had the first six tips of the 12 most important tips, and this video has the last six tips. If you have not yet already, uh, pl please click uh, the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, that little notification bell if you'd like notifications about my upcoming videos, and be sure to click that like button if you like this video and you've learned something from it. It will really help me out in the future and I really appreciate it. And uh, let's get on to tip number seven. Tip number seven, temperature. So the temperature of your spray can can actually make a huge difference in the way that it sprays and the way that it behaves. So if you are outside and it's winter time and it's freezing cold, you're probably going to need to shake your cans more than usual, um, which is kind of annoying, but it is a nice arm workout, I guess. When the cans get hot, um, they also might spit a little bit as well, but I will um, have a video that kind of shows you these differences later on just keep your cans in a temperature controlled environment like um put them in your garage somewhere kind of stored away safely in your studio space whatever you have tip number eight caps so there are so many different kinds of caps like it's insane i kind of had to go through the different kinds of caps that there are um and try them all out to kind of get a better feel for them and feel which ones that I liked using the most. The cap that I really enjoy using the most is the super skinny cap here, because um, I like to do fine detailed work. It is this little green cap. So I will actually have another video on this sometime soon, explaining all of the different kinds of caps and um, actually giving cap reviews and um, actually showing you like how thin they can get and how thick they can get and that sort of thing. I really want you to skip this trial and error that I had to go through. But yes, the caps make a huge difference. Um, fat caps will spray much fatter and skinny caps will spray much skinnier line. The caps that actually come on these cans, this uh, stock cap, you know, as you call it, the one that actually comes with the can, I never really use these. Um, sometimes they're kind of good for like making a fine line if you like got it to the side a little bit. But overall, it doesn't have like a very opaque, very clean kind of spray and the way that you're spraying makes a huge difference, especially if you're doing something realistic or something detailed, you're gonna need a very particular kind of cap. Tip number nine, the stance. So the way that you stand when you paint, um, the way that you move with the wall, really makes a huge difference in you know how straight you can get your lines and how clean you can get your lines. You know, the, the movement, the stance is, is, it makes a huge difference. The stance that you have, it's almost like taking, like squatting in front of the wall because you wanna have, you know, the can straight and you have to move with the wall. You have to feel like you're one with the wall. Now to tip number 10. Ah, how are we on tip number 10 already? I know. Um, so tip number 10, motion. The way that you move. Um, how quickly you move. You need to learn to have confidence in spray painting. If you do a straight line very slowly, it's, well, it's first it's gonna drip, second, it's not gonna be straight. But if you have a good handle on the can and you learn can handling and you practice as much as possible, doing straight lines and squares and circles and that sort of thing, then you'll be able to get these smooth straight lines, you know, and as I said in tip number nine, your stance and the movement both make a difference together. So you gotta do nine and 10 together to make it work. Tip number 11, color layering. So the way that you layer your colors actually makes a huge difference. So that's another reason why you have to buff as well, because if you have another painting underneath the painting that you're working on, um, say it's a black and red painting, what you paint over the black and what you paint over the red, even if it's in the same color, it might look a little bit different. And I would like to actually have a more visual video for you for this in the future. But just be sure that when you're painting that you layer your colors properly. Um, certain colors are more opaque than others. Certain colors are more transparent than others. Reds and yellows, historically, in all different kinds of paint, even oil paint, um, are much thinner and may require more layers than others to cover other colors of paint. 
um, if you layer a red over a black paint, um, so you have a black wall and you're painting it with red over it, you might need a couple layers. Um, it's not going to be super bright, but if you, if you put it side by side and you have a white wall and you put that red over the white wall, then it'll be much brighter and much clearer and much more crisp. That's why it's good to have a nice light layer underneath your painting. Otherwise, you're going to be using a lot more spray paint to cover that area. You ready for the last tip? I have tip number 12. Tip number 12, right here. What was it again? Oh, patience. So patience is really important in spray painting. And I, I, I actually figured this out the hard way. Um, I What I used to do is I used to get really impatient with um, the way that I was doing things because I wasn't used to it yet. And I was trying to layer the transparent colors over each other, over each other to like, kind of get different gradients and, you know, values and tones and things. And rather than waiting for the layer to dry, I would just keep spraying over that layer and be like, no, I need it a little bit darker, a little bit darker, a little bit darker. And it just becomes this gooey, sloppy, drippy mess. And so the best thing that you could do in spray paint is to, well, have confidence in your painting, yes, and go quickly as you can, but let your layers dry at least for a couple minutes before painting over them. It will make a huge difference in your painting. Just be patient, take a step back, take a breath, and you can figure it out. Well, those are the 12 tips. So thank you for watching both of these videos. If you watch both of these videos, again, if you did not watch the first video um, with these first six tips, go and click on right here and uh, it will take you to that link if you have any questions for me, please put those in the comments below. Please like this video if you liked it and tell your friends about it. Share it, do whatever you feel, and uh, click subscribe um, to see more of my future videos. Again, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And remember to stay peaceful as a calm mind is a creative mind. Now go get inspired, be an influence, and make something beautiful today. Peace.